Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. Unfortunately, this is still part of the part where I had to kind of separate things, so I had to sort of make this intro up post-recording. Um, what's nice though is that even though in the video I'm like, oh no, this is the end, blah blah blah, I was informed in the comment section of the last video that this is in fact not the end and that I'll, I'm only like three-fourths of the way through the game. This next section with the main quest is sort of a very, very streamlined, I guess. Um, but it's not, it's not gonna shut me off completely from doing things in the rest of the map, which is kind of the impression it gives. Um, some people did say, you know, they're not sure if you're gonna be able to come, you know, do if, it, it might shut off certain side quests. It might make them unaccessible. So to go back and do the things that I really for sure want to do. And there are a couple someone did bring up. I forgot about Aya's cousin. Um, I gotta go finish his last mission. And a couple, at least one other thing concerning Crocodiliopolis, maybe. Um, but yes. So this is not the end. It is merely the beginning of the end. And I will keep that in mind. But sorry, I'm distracted. I just woke up like an hour ago. I'm exhausted. But... I hope you guys enjoy this video. I do really enjoy exploring the tombs, um, so I will, on the next video of this, like, series, I will make sure to take everything into account and give sort of an update on what we're going to be doing, but uh, thank you guys so much for letting me know, because that was a bit worrying. It was a bit troubling, so uh, I will get back to you guys for sure on what we're going to be doing, and I hope you enjoy this video. So I know I've been kind of in and out of this part of this episode, probably. It's going to be kind of weird to edit. But, I, before I go, because I'm not really sure exactly what we've done besides die to the Phylakite, or Phylake. But, we're going to go get these. I have, I mean, I upgraded my weapon and stuff like that. Sold some things, spent some money I shouldn't have, but that's okay. I, I am using that bow that I got, so no big deal. But, um, yeah, I kind of would like to get a legendary outfit before I go on the final quest, the final mission. And I want to finish these things for my son. I, I think finishing these things for my son lets me get a legendary outfit, but there's like a certain amount of uh, those crystals I have to get as well. So, we'll see, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think for sure, and I'll make a decision, but for now I'm just going to tie up some loose ends. Probably won't be able to do, I'll probably do a couple of those Sobek quests Whoa. in Crocodiliopolis, um, but I probably won't be able to do some of the higher level things until maybe after the main game. I do want to do... I'm going to be doing the DLC, for sure. But I would like to finish up some of these... Some of the side quests I get in this area. Whoa. Get, in, get in the main game, I mean. Wow. So this isn't a... So then, I wonder if this is... This is, this is like where you get crystals, or something. But we may have an astronomy thing over here. Oh, it says it's down? Maybe not. It is possibly... Yeah, it's underneath me. Okay. Alright. Down we go. Just got to make sure to get all the golden question marks off the map so I know... <coughs> so I know if I've done all the astronomy. Like, I obviously haven't. Otherwise, the quest would be checked off, but... Are you here? The wind rises. And the sand with it. Sandstorm! It's okay, it doesn't actually make a difference whether or not that's a sandstorm, but it is cool. Oh, there are dead bodies. Unfortunate. Oh, and they've pilfered mummies. 
So there's old dead bodies and new dead bodies. No marks, too. Oh, wow. This was very violent deaths. Wow. Wow, lots of dead people. You were, you were not wanted in here, let me tell you. Let it be seen by all, the diarist cursed. Ah, they're cursed. Let this be seen by all who disturb the resting place of Tefib the third. Take offerings from him, desecrate the honors that are only his, and you will be consumed by the furnace of his excretion, ex execration rites. Brother return on brother, friend will betray friend, all will die enemies. So shall your bodies remain, decaying and starving until bones turn to dust. All who enter beware, for none shall leave in this life or the next. Oh ho. So did they all get greedy and start killing each other? Is that what happened? There's so many dead people. In case of my worst fears, I hate this place. At night I hear whispers in the walls. By day the shadows seem to shift without form to move them. I want to leave, but still Cassette wants more and more of the tomb's treasures for his own. His own, I know I will see none of it. And when that infernal whispering gets to my head, when Cassette is done marauding, he'll have no use for me. And then what? I should take what is mine. Take it. Take it all. The curse. Greed is a good... Oh, hey, look, there we go. Greed is an, uh, is an excellent curse to have. Like, an excellent curse that you don't even have to, like, give, really. It's just how it is. It's just, oh my gosh, there were so many people! Holy cow! It's just kind of how people are. Levers are affected by weights. <laughs> Now, why is it so hard to see in here? Okay, so if I want to get up there... Okay, I see. I see. Oh, man. Come on, please. I've got to stick it underneath. Yes. Perfect. Is that a <laughs> crystal just sitting out? Cool. Cool. A nice new hunter bow. Wow, a really, really good one. Nice. Jeez. Dogs over there right, making weird noises. Cool. Yes, yes, I'm finding the ancient tablet. Oh, that's that. Okay. Is there anything else in this room? Why is it so fuzzy in this room? Like everything's really fuzzy. Oh ho. More crystal. Excellent. I love how I'm like reading about curses and like seeing all these people who tried to loot this tomb and I'm getting really upset because like that's how it was and that's why we a lot of the old kingdom was looted by Egyptians themselves to make money. And it's upsetting to me and then I'm like playing this character who's like tearing apart or not tearing apart I guess. We're just stealing also. The irony is not lost on me. Okay, now I climb up to 
the next level. I am very talented to be able to do this with a torch in my hand. Oh, that's a that's a wall that I can break. Let's see what's over here. Ooh. Horus bestows everlasting life upon the most trusted clerk, Imhonhep. Imhonhep. When it came time to serve his lord and to serve his lord in the reeded fields, he did so willingly. He was bestowed with strength, endurance, joy, health, and all happiness. So this is a guy, a servant of the person who, uh, whose tomb this is. And a lot of times in ancient Egypt, in ancient Egypt, you would. Uh, like, sacrifice, like, entire households, essentially, to serve the tomb owner in the afterlife. Sometimes even their families. Like, their own families. The mighty warrior Kui comes to you, ye falcons, wearing a cloak of apeskin upon his back. He goes to the boundary of the horizon, so he may make red the sands in both lands, and so he may bring fires to the enemies of the Nomark. Which to me seems like a, just a huge waste of life, but this is like a library in here, essentially. Interesting. But I get it. Like, if you believe so strongly in that version of the afterlife, like, that, that, that it's not really death as so much as another life, like a different kind, then yeah, why wouldn't you do that? But still, it's like you're taking away people who could be very, very useful in the current life. Oh, hey, a tablet. Nice. Ancient writing from the Old Kingdom. Regular sword? Gee, Willikers, thank you. Probably means like regular, like soldier. Like, like the name of a, so like the type of soldier. <laughs> it kills me to break these walls. Ooh, this is a secret part. If there are any snakes, I can't see them. Oh my gosh, is this outside? What? No way. Cool. Well, interesting. Well, I guess actually it kind of makes me like, eh. When I need it, I'll open it, but <laughs> I'm not just gonna leave it open to this really awesome tomb. stuff maybe is that water oh okay I weird it said activate the ancient mechanism 
I don't know if I can climb any of these walls. It might be something where I have to dive. Yeah, okay, let's see. Roll way down there. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. There's loads of crystals down here. She's talking to me? That, can be read, that tells of what was, what like, is, are they all addressing me or are they addressing, like, general the humanity? Who came before can read, though you cannot. Time is more than the hour of the day, the reading of an atomic clock, something to lose, something to run out of. Time is a set of rules. Not unlike the language you so dearly Shh. use to converse with your powerful machine. Time is a system that defines what comes to be. That is how we understand it. The code is time, and time is code. As you scratch the surface and uncover the truth, ask yourself if there is something more. Something else. Well, if we have limitations, we can't understand it. No need to be puzzled. You've seen time written before. You are surrounded by it as we speak. 
Or is she talking to like Altair or something? Like and to us, it is not unlike a chalkboard covered It's in obviously tablet. Egyptian, this it projection. A window through which stretches the map to infinity. But our language defines how we see the world. See? As I speak of it in its true form, your mind is incapable of making sense of it. Oh, okay. Inaudible. Blah, 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 you know. Were you to read, you'd learn about the other simulations. You'd learn about the genesis of who you came to be. You'd learn about space and its fluidity. Simply put, time is the language which existence is made of. All our existences. Your, mine, and all those you dare not imagine. My dog is like going crazy. Okay, so cool. Those are really long. They're interesting, but they're very long. I got all my air back. How nice. Oh, oh, I can just exit the tomb like, like that. I tried to pick this up. Okay. Man. This is really cool stuff, though. I was gonna say it'd be cool to, like, take a picture, but I don't know if I can frame this one the way I want to. Maybe. Anyway. Is there anything else? Beyond this? No? Not really? Okay. Well, I guess we'll exit the tomb. Convenient. Someone is sick. Whoa! Sandstorm coming. Yeah, that's that's all you gotta say about that? I actually do need to go back in there, I think. Because there was a whole other section I hadn't explored. So I'm hoping that to get to the other side I had to move this thing and then work. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, girl, no. We are very angrily breaking this stuff. Make a, a wick shit collar of temporal gold, e baby, adorn it with feldspar, carnelian and jasper, fiercely glowing as the sun god, turquoise and lapis as tumultuous as the chaos sea. Carry it to your lord in Dua, and he shall wear it for eternity. So yeah, they take a bunch of like really talented people and kill them for use in the next life, which I guess overall, even if, even if like you believe that that's like a thing that'll be. Which, you know, I don't know if it is or not, but like, like that, that'll work? Like, it seems quite selfish. Taking talented people, just a regular spear. Taking talented people or loved ones and bringing them with you into the next life. It's like, you know, they, they had things they could have done in this life. To say by nut, the general who was within the lower mansion, this is my son, Manaktuf, and my beloved Anaseki, Anexi. They sit beside me, carried into the afterlife for duty and honor. All the gods are in exaltation. They say, how beautiful is Mana Hoktuf, with whom his father is deeply pleased. So yeah, there you go. He had his son killed to come with, which seems like if you, I would think you'd want your legacy to like live on past you. So killing your son and your family doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But that's me. I'm not an ancient Egyptian. Okay, so this is the side I should have done first. <laughs> there was like nothing really going on. Oh. Just, which was cool. It was cool to find my family members. It's crazy how many people that are that are buried in these tombs. But yeah, I got a ton of crystals. Let's see, I think I will probably say instead of disassembling my gear, I'll probably sell it at this point. I have one ability point, oh boy, and I have all these abilities that I don't really use. I could d double the damage of my overpower, that would be nice. Um, poison dart. You 
always start conflict with a full adrenaline bar. I think I'd rather actually get my overpower ability more overpowered, as it were. I think I, by, yeah, by synchronizing, I'm actually getting a ton of, like, senu, my, my ability to sense things is greatly increased, like, my range. So. It's too bad I can't, I don't think I could level up my shield, actually. Bleeding, I need to, I need to bleed, block with this one, because of the bleeding with block. Anyway, I don't know how long this is gonna be. It probably is longer than it needed to be. But, again, should I... Well, I don't know. I'm asking for opinions. If you guys think I should finish the main quest and then do some of these side quests or if I should do a couple side quests first and then go. I think, well, okay. I do definitely want to do some of the ones in Crocodiliopolis. I'm going to do a couple of those for sure. And I'll have to probably come back for, like, these ones because I do want to do these ones. But should I focus on the, maybe I'm I, you don't have to it's it's all I'll do something regardless. But sh if you guys think I should focus on the Falakes prey or the um, Bayek's promise, because I'm gonna get Bayek's promise done for sure. But then there's a legendary outfit I think that comes out of the end of that. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just do it all. I don't know. But let me know, let me know what you guys think if you want. If not, I'll definitely do something anyway <laughs> for sure. But thank you for putting up with how long this one was and kind of how rambly it was. I got kind of taken aback. I didn't realize I was this close to that part where I was like, we can't turn back. And I was like, oh, okay, peace out, bye. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And thank you all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.